Today, Gigguk has graced us once again, blessed us, the viewers of his of his content, with a new video, Summer 2024 Anime in a Nutshell, and I am ready to crack this nutshell wide open. Look at review. But first, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, you know. Uh, if you enjoy this content, you want me to keep reacting to Gigguk videos, show up. Like, comment, subscribe. You can find the full length uh, as well as exclusives for all of my reactions to these anime seasons over on Patreon. Plus, you'll find some other links down in the description. If you like K-dramas, I do reactions to those on a separate channel. And uh, maybe stop by my Twitch stream sometime. You can literally join me and the rest of my community live as I watch a bunch of anime. It's a lot of fun. Stop by. Let's watch this. Oh, but first, I am watching 21 different anime during this anime season. So just so you're aware, I am watching a lot. Okay. Okay, dude. All right, dude. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. And he's got the English dub one. Oh, my little John. Your cute little sister is waking you up. At the <laughs> what are you doing? Did you just tell your sister to? Are you exhausted from me? He tossed Emoto Yuki. Who does he think he is? Guys, we must be up in arms. Rebel against Giguk. He dare toss Emoto Yuki? Me saying at the beginning of every one of these videos how many new high profile shows are coming out. Well, what? <laughs> well, guess what? We got a bunch of new high profile goals. Welcome to okay, Summer okay, 2024 okay. Anime, where we have romance anime, including oh, Sussy yeah. Sisters. Romance anime yeah. with Sussy Sisters. Am I editing? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. They're doing the trademark scroll of the seasonal charts. Okay, we're scrolling. We're, 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 we're still scrolling. Oh, look at this scrolling. Is that some Sussy Sisters I see? So I'm not going to take up your time. You okay. know the drill by now. Okay. It's a summer anime video. I so see the bit. Waiting. Let's just I like bloody it. jump right into it. I'm not watching this one. Holy shit, shouldn't she die? That's kind of like... Any... Any second now. Holy shit! She's dead, isn't she? One, two! Bam, 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 bam. Alright, what do we got? I'm sure we'll be here. I'm guessing you like watching anime. What? What? Yeah, how'd you know? Wait, I was gonna say that. Stop saying it instead of me. I don't like that. Why did he know what I was gonna say? I, he's not supposed to do that. I don't like that. What is, what sorcery? Look, he's literally saying it. Guys, I'm sure I'll be here. I'm guessing you like watching anime. What? How did you know? Why did, why, I was gonna say that. Stop stealing my lines. How am I supposed to react to your video if you're reacting to your own video for me? Don't do that. Give me a chance. Also, holy shit, there's so much more anime over over on uh, on Netflix Japan than there is over here. Can you be able to watch as many titles as you can as painlessly? This feels like a VPN ad. ExpressVPN. Is possible? Well, okay. with today's sponsor, ExpressVPN, you can do exactly okay. that. With ExpressVPN, right. you can unlock tons okay. of anime because you can choose wherever in the world you want to be to unlock the entire library for that country. Here in Japan, yep. we okay. have a ton of anime that aren't available <laughs> elsewhere in the world, like Apothecary. Well, here's the thing. If you just spend all of your money on all of the different anime subscription services, then you don't need to have the VPN, right? Like if I spend money for Crunchyroll and High Dive and Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus and HBO Max and Amazon Prime Video, right? Then we're in there. Except when I wanted to fucking watch, I want to eat your pancreas. And somehow through owning subscriptions to seven different services, I still couldn't watch it. How does that work? How does that happen? How? How? What do you mean? How much money do I have to pay to be able to watch this stuff? Anyways, little rant. Okay, I'm sorry. Carry Diaries, for example. But on my end, I did watch it, by the way. For those of you that have ever seen uh, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, super sad. <laughs> like, really, really super sad. And the Monday after I post this uh, video right now that you're watching, uh, I will be posting my, my reaction to I Want to Eat Your Pancreas over on Patreon. I don't know when I'll ever post it on YouTube. Just letting you know if you're interested in checking that out. If you like watching grown men cry, 30-year-old men cry, maybe check it out. 
Sometimes I want to make use of my Crunchyroll account if I'm not feeling to Nihongo Jozu, but it's completely blocked here in Japan. So if I want to watch some good old fashioned subtitled anime, with just one click I can swap myself over to America and the entire Crunchyroll library is available for me. But it's not just Crunchyroll, I can also get access to tons of region lock content on other streaming services like Netflix. Dude, what the fuck? Netflix got a lot, bro. Hey, we need to... What the heck is this? They got it all! Summertime render... You know how hard it was to watch this show because you couldn't find it when it was airing? I'm a little bit upset seeing it here. It's a good show, but also... What the hell? Why am I reacting to the ad? I just realized I was reacting to the ad. Oh, I want to watch it with subtitles. All right, we're, here. we're reacting to the ad, okay? Singapore. Hey, guess what? The ExpressVPN, you're welcome. I'm not, I don't even want any money for this. This is just a great reaction to your own ad that you, well, the ad that Giga made for you that you paid for. The fact that it works on all my devices, I'll take phone, money, though. TV, you computer, it makes it effortless to catch all the anime I want to watch whenever I want. With a single tap of the button, it's incredibly easy to use. And with wow. just one subscription, I can connect up to eight one of tap. my devices. So, yo, I actually did have ExpressVPN at one point, And you know why I got it? Cause I was a trash taste viewer. I was early on, dude. Uh, <laughs> I watched Trash Taste every single week when the episode dropped. Literally, same day the episode dropped. Probably from maybe episode five, maybe less than that, maybe less than episode five until uh, like a very long time. I don't remember when I stopped watching them like consistently every time they dropped, but I did it for at least a year, maybe two. It was for a long time, May maybe three. Honestly, I have Trash Taste merch. I own it. Trash Taste merch. I bought the original shirt. The old trash. I threw it away because holy shit. I mean, I, they, I think they've even mentioned how bad the quality was of it. But it was not good quality. It's just like like the, 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 the little logo faded off so fast. And it was like a it was kind of shitty. Like my it was a white T-shirt. And by the time I threw it away, it was like kind of gray. It's, it wasn't the best. What are you waiting for? Click that link in the description or go to expressvpn.com slash 2024 to find out how you can get three wow. months of ExpressVPN for free. You can get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Just go to expressvpn.com slash 2024 That's G-I-G-G-U-K-2024. Now back to the video. <laughs> yes, free. Thank you very much to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with summer 2024. Uh, what do we got here? Wistoria? Yeah, yeah. Peak, 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 peak. Gamers. Fuck! Okay, stop me if this sounds vaguely familiar. Short, muscular boy donning a black cloak who can't use magic in a world dominated by magic enters a magic academy, aiming to be the top magic person in this magic world, gets ridiculed, but is actually super strong, taking down everything with his brute strength and big sword. Hold up. No, I've never seen this before. What is that? I don't, I don't, I've never, I, I don't know, man. I, I would have been lucky, um, like a four leaf clover, figure out what that was. I, don't know. I would Not start playing. finding okay. the DMCA claim myself if the show didn't go so goddamn hard. It does! It goes hard! Thank you, Giga! Talk to them! Preach! Amen! This is Historia, no. an anime coming from the director of Black Clover. Could you tell? And Ironically, that's so funny though. It was the same director. I, I noticed that too after like episode one or two. I was like, I wonder who's directing it because it looks so good. I think it was after episode one. I literally look it up and it's like, oh yeah, this guy also directed Black Clover. And I was like, ah, <laughs> You got a type. I guess he's got a type. And the writer of Don Machi. Could you tell? And the character yeah, could you design. tell? Literally starts with a minotaur. Could you tell? It's a premise we've seen before, following a formula that's oh so familiar, but presented in a shiny new package that looks absolutely phenomenal. Episode one. Absolutely with beautiful. Power, dropping action scene with the director seemingly taking all the Come lessons from working nah. on Black Clover and refining it to the highest degree, then continues to deliver in the very next episode. Ooh. On a visual standpoint, we're starting the season off with a bang because I don't know if any other show is going to look as good as this okay oh oh i that's crazy because he's literally about to talk about something looking as good as wistoria and he jumped to days with my stepsister not that it looks bad i'm not saying it looks bad but i legitimately thought he would go all right time for the most beautiful anime currently airing which i can only go one of two ways personally i either go oshinoko or my personal preference of elusive samurai Especially the direction in the most recent episode, phenomenal, phenomenal direction. The just the animation direction was some of the best I had ever seen in anything ever. The use of transitions, the whole just animation, animation throughout the most recent episode, 
Okay, guys, I gotta get serious for a bit. Now, I know you can see the title of this show, and I'm very aware of what kind of taste you think I have, but... No, it's not think. We know it. We know it, Giga. Don't hide from who you truly are. Why is he... Why is he trying to hide from who he is? We know you. How many times have we heard you gas up domestic girlfriend? I've never even seen it before, but I low-key want to watch it because you gassed it up so much. I don't know shit about it. I just know that I'm not supposed to like it, but from how much you've talked about, how, like, how much you like it, I genuinely might like it. And that's kind of crazy to say, but that's how I feel. Just listen to me when I say with zero irony that this show is legit. No, no, go it is, hear me out. It, it is though. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. In his defense, it is actually legit. Like this one, very enjoyable. It... What I keep on saying every time I watch it is it's low-key a vibe. Like, there's a vibe to it that you're just not getting in other shows. It's slow, it's somber, and it's very, like, chill. But there's drama, and it's intriguing. And you're getting to know the characters. And that vibe that, that you hold a shot where nothing's happening but them sitting at a table eating, you hold that shot for 20 seconds. And you, you think that it would be like, ah, oh, when is this shit going to end? You think that, like, them sitting in a setting where you don't give a fuck, like it's uh, Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten sitting on a couch for, for eight episodes? You think that that would be bad? It's not. It's actually great. It isn't a meme. I'm being serious this time. It isn't no, I believe you. No, you're right. I know. I know. With the title, like, Days With My Stepsister, I, too, right. was expecting it's this good. to be the next trash field dumpster fire being the spirit of somehow it was good. domestic girlfriend. But this, somehow, is a 100% serious... Thought-provoking, somber drama with no cliches, fancy. I use the same term, somber. I'm just saying, there's a vibe to it. Service pandering, or anything you'd expect from a romance story between step-siblings. I know you're thinking, step-sibling romance without the spice? That's about as useful as fapping to get pregnant, but on... Honestly, this looks like... Okay, you probably weren't thinking that. But this honestly looks like they are trying to... Yeah, nobody was thinking that, but I get where you're coming from. And where you're coming to. I tell know. a grounded story about two people later in their lives meeting in awkward circumstances. There's an uh, addition to the fapping. Th uh, anyways, one more. And the realistic drama that would surround it. It's beautifully shot, atmospheric, taking its time with songs that speak right to the heart. The shit is the doom too of incest. This is unironically a really promising looking drama and I swear to God it's not because it has a sister in it. All right, what's next? This one is because it has a sister in it. This is literally because it has a sister in it. Yuki is the goat. Okay, guys. Listen to me when I say with zero okay. irony. Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. This anime feel is pretty simple to understand. You know, it's one of those cute little romance anime I'm comfortably watching on the living room sofa. Looks pretty wholesome and innocent. Then my dad walks in, sees this shit plastered on screen and goes, gone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scooch over, yeah, son. Yeah. Let your dad watch too. This time we have a girl. <laughs> okay, the okay, okay. She okay. does the flirting in Russian. But wait, the twist is he secretly understands her. He knows he Russian. He knows Russian for some reason. Oh! <laughs> inexplicable reason uh, uh i don't know i didn't count it i am not really a math guy you know i'm just waiting for the episode where he reveals that he understood her the entire time and the episode title was just clueless japanese guy surprises foreign girl with perfect russian normally i've gotten tired of these kinds okay. of shows now but i think i'm gonna give this one a chance and you might be wondering why <laughs> No, Jokokobo are just- No, 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 stop. No, it's literally for Yuki. We all watch this show for Yuki. So good at what they do. They might no, it is beautiful. Shots with everything they make I now. do love everyone in it. We just love Yuki the most. Right? It's not because of the little sister character. It, it is. Been a while, though, since it is. Don't lie to us, Garn. dominated by high-profile sequels, but there are still a few. Tower of God is back. My Hero Academia is still- God, Tower of God getting hoed this season. Oh my god, it is, it doesn't deserve what it is getting right now. It doesn't deserve this treatment. I, I almost wish we didn't even get a season two of Tower of God. I'm not going to lie to you. I almost wish it didn't even happen. Just seeing how absolutely disgusting they're treating it. The animation, terrible. And that's just, a, that's just, that's just one issue. The adaptation, not the best either. Still airing along with more Shy Hero Academia. I'm not watching Shy, by the way. Didn't like the first season. My hero, though, 
popping off. Love that. Starring Bocce the Rocket. More near a tomato. Hopefully the hype for this season remains and it doesn't get played with near a tomato. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. I didn't watch the, this part two. I did watch part one, but I should have watched part two. It's just, eh, you know, there's other stuff. Production issues. People basically said, hey, don't even watch near. Just play the game. Just play the game. Okay, fine. I won't watch the anime. Fairy tale, a hundred year quest. I never watched fairy tale in my life. Just saying. <laughs> oh. Wait. You know, I think we may have been a bit too harsh on fairy tale. Their fans have had it rough one. recently, and you know, every anime has its positive points. Monogatari is back to show all these modern anime how it's done. See, unlike all the other yeah. anime this season, Monogatari has historically depicted a more normal sibling relationship. All right, grab the gear. Grab, go, 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 grab, yes! Grab, 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 come on, you got the go, peak. Just, just get, it's, it's this is the best, go, dude. This go, is. Go, go, look go, at this. I got him. Ah, dude, what the fuck? You got my arm. There was a misinput. Misinput. Calm down. You calm the fuck down! Cloverworks continue to prove that whether or not they- Bro, this show is so beautiful. Not this one. This one. I mean, the first season of this show is pretty good too, but also then the- if They never made another season, bro. They made the first season and then they didn't make any more. There's no more uh, 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 Promised Neverland after the first season. It's so unfortunate, man. What a great show to just not be adapted fully. They did one season and then they never did any more. Mess up an adaptation. At the very least, everything they touch looks absolutely godlike. Dude, Loki, Wistoria, with Cloverworks is killing it. The best looking anime this summer, but the sheer no. creativity in some of these storyboards, the amazing this direction, one! casual art style switch up, and the pure animation eye candy might just put it a step above. Having said absolutely that, beautiful. I'm a bit confused as to what kind of tone we're going for here. Some dude gets diced up to a party of bloody cubes the whole village is massacred a fucking kid gets beheaded it has some of the most mm -hmm. grueling gruesome imagery you can find all season then it hits you with a <laughs> this is like a shonen anime taking place during the red wedding but credit to cloverworks for being able to get this much attention worldwide this is meant to be set during a real historical time period in japan and it's stuff like this that can get an it's international so audience interested in your history i wonder what the bro i am so interested in this time period i'm waiting for this anime episode uh season to end and then i'm not gonna read up on the history because now i have to do reactions to the show so i have to wait until season two comes out and do more reactions to that but i think that one day i will read up on the history after i've watched this show in its entirety but i'm interested i am way more interested in this time period uh in japanese history than any other time period because of this anime specifically again i just had to do reactions it's like it's like part of my job like what the fuck am i supposed to do i'm supposed to just find out what happens and then act like I didn't find out what happens. What do I, what do I look like? A reactor? The Japanese audience thinks of this. Oh yeah, this is the dumbest fucking thing. I hate this. Okay, I'm not gay, but when I imagine this guy have to... Bro, that's a child. Bro, fuck the gay part. That's a child. What? That's enough history lessons for today. All right. We gotta switch things up. Usamu Dazai has one of the most tragic stories in Japanese history. As one of Japan's most famous novelists, Dazai experienced the darkness few he Bro, I love Dazai. His power in Bungo Stray Dogs? No. No, I, I, do, I do really like Bungo Stray Dogs, and I do like Dazai in that show, but. Yeah. Humans have ever encountered, leading him to attempt to take his life not once, twice, but four times, to which fate denied him and forced him to continue living his torturous life. Eventually, he would put his broken soul into the novel, No Longer Human, one of the most harrowing pieces of media to ever be created, before really? I he would to... eventually be able to successfully take his own life finally fulfilling his wish of being left alone and finally given the grace of death anyway here he is in a wacky isekai yep we got a silly comedy about a depressed author who wants to off himself in another world chomping pills like it's a mukbang video and charming goddesses with his <clears throat> suicide riz God, that line made me want to Osamu does I myself. This isn't the first time anime has taken <laughs> creative liberties with the historical figures, but it does make you wonder, is there anything they won't put in an isekai? Oh, yeah, true. Yep. God, and this one, by the way, just ended today at the time of recording. It might be the worst anime that's currently airing or that aired during the season. Or at least it is the most overhyped prior to the season starting where it is. Okay. Through the 10 episodes... Bad story. The story sucks. Ass. But that animation in the final episode was was damn near some of the best in the entire season. Okay. 
Don't adjust your screens, this is really happening. When I first saw this get announced, I had to double check that the date wasn't April 1st. This is an idea you'd expect we was some hyped for it. fiction, but I think Warner Brothers realized all they needed to do was to give us anime Harley Quinn, then look us weebs dead in the eye and go... <laughs> I knew you would come. All in all, this seems like just Whoa. a fun, don't take too seriously type of show, giving us exactly what we'd expect. The Suicide Squad having a romp in an Isekai fantasy world. But I'm not sure if I was expecting a bit more coming from the writer of ReZero and animated by Studio Wit. A studio that has historically put out... Uh, visually looks great. What are you talking about? Banger after banger. Because I'm not sure if there's anything else taking their focus. What she the actual fuck? Hello, my dear friends. Today, I want to do a class presentation about everyone's favorite animal, deers. Here are some fun deer facts. They can run up to 30 miles per hour. All male deers grow antlers. They have an avid aversion towards anyone named Connor. Deers are actually majestic okay. creatures. Let's have a look at some of these magnificent animals in action. Deers can be found across <laughs> what the, the world, fuck? including countries like <laughs> what England, the fuck was that? Japan, oh my America, God. Politer America, the North Pole, and of course, Narnia. There are over 40 species of deer, such as the red deer, the reindeer, the dead deer, the Aust mm, That's crazy. The reindeer, the fact that he did, wow, deer, hold Such on. as the red deer. The rain. It's pretty insane that the reindeer was not. Oh wait, wait. Why I don't. Oh, is this a meme? Oh, this is a meme. Is this a meme? Because I would have thought if it's the reindeer, he would just go with chopper. But I think this is, is, is supposed to be a reference to something. I don't know. Deer, the dead deer, the That's Australian toxic. jump deer, or as the locals call it, jumpos, and of course. Deer the Rock Johnson. Here's a fun deer joke. What do you call a deer with no eyes? Blind. That concludes today's presentation. <laughs> okay, yeah, I hope we all good. learned a little bit that more about yeah, deers good. today because I have no idea what the fuck this show is about. I, I don't carry either. everything. Yeah. Now, this is a I now okay, okay, I was wrong. 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 This is the worst anime currently airing. No, no, this one is worse than Suicide Squad East Kai. This one is fucking shit. It is terrible. The, the, the show exists. It lives, breathes, and uh, parries all concepts of good writing solely on the stupidity of its main character. I do not recommend this to anyone. Do not watch the show. It is not good. Um, it's, uh, people say you're supposed to watch it as like, a, it's funny. Like, it's not even listed as a comedy. It's just not good. The fantasy action about a man who parries everything. He parries swords, he parries a staff, he parries a goddamn cow. Holy shit, he parried his virginity! This is pretty much what the title says it is an anime tape. Wait, no, 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 he wouldn't have parried his virginity. No, 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 no. He parried losing his virginity. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he parried um, any sexual opportunity he would ever have. He parried being a Chad. He parried all Sigma uh, uh, cells within his body. I don't know if he has any of those. But uh, there's nothing this man can't parry. Taylor made for you Sekiro fans out there. It's an anime tailor made for you. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Fans out there. And it's nice to see a protagonist who doesn't look like the same beta soy boy for once. I just want to see how far they can take this concept. Can he parry a gun? Can he parry a nuke? Can he parry my invasive thoughts? Oh, ho, ho, you can parry everything, huh? Well, parry this. You're a talentless hack. You'll never achieve anything in life. And you're old. I had sexual relations with your mother. Oh, yeah! Elsewhere in fantasy, plus size okay. elf is here to undo all the good Bro. the dumbbell shows. Dark elf with the motherfucking god, the god. Done for weave for the series, giving us some American representation in I'm the just only saying. way anime knows how. That's right, it's French fries. blonde girls. If you're a fan oh, of cake, okay. I don't think you're ready because God, I'm saying, dog, I'm uh, bro. The respectfully, this anime I'm doesn't saying. have cake. It's the entire fucking baking industry. We got Onis, we got Dark Elves, we got Marcel after season three of Dungeon Meshi. 
Failure <laughs> frame is your pick if you want some dumb, edgy fun. This one was a niche concept. Okay, you gave more time to these other fucking... Dude, failure frame. Actually, low-key was kind of enjoyable after the most recent episode. There was no episode today, but, you know, after the most recent... It was... That episode was cool. I like that one. Even though it was still probably not the best directing for it. You know, for instance, him using his ability... Him getting close to use an ability and then using the ability after the person he uses on gets further away from it, which is like, what was the point of that? Like, that was kind of dumb, but also it's still a cool episode. But I actually enjoyed it. You have a girl who is Did basically not watch engineering her own magic tools in a fantasy backdrop, and I was honestly impressed. You truly do feel like you're in a made-up fantasy world because they actually made engineering look fun. We're gonna play some power fantasy that is no different from- Didn't watch this either, but maybe I should have instead of Perry, because fucking Perry. Oh Eric OP main character in a fantasy world, except this time the protagonist is in his 30s, and I feel offended that this is a representation they think 30-year-olds want. You want to give us a power fantasy? Give us a mildly exciting new kitchen appliance. The ability to stay up past 2 a.m. Hell, wake me up when there's a protagonist who doesn't get a life-altering injury because he slept funny one night. <laughs> First, That's funny. there was anime. Then came fictional idols in anime avatars. Then came real-life idols in anime avatars. Now, I present to you Fictional anime about fictional idols playing real life idols in anime avatars. Wait, what the fuck? For the first time, anime has actually given us a VTuber anime that accurately depicts the culture and content to the point where even I was surprised. Real looking live 2D models using OBS as a streaming software, they play actual stream games like Getting Over It and of course going live on you. Our tube? Anime has been screaming for a true to life depiction of VTubers, but I gotta wonder how accurate it is to have a drunk VTuber who just shouts obscenity on the street. Huh? I like to eat ass. You know, for once, we have a season not dominated by Isekai or Fancy because what romance the seems fuck to be was going that? for a bloody second <laughs> renaissance this summer. Oh, okay. Senpai's and Otokonoko is a cute little romance where a girl confesses to a female crush only to find out that they're actually a boy. Damn, dude. This is just she a is down come to terms with their sexuality. Bad. My wife has no emotions, aka man gets dumped and Didn't watch this goes one? to fuck his toaster. I get that this is meant to be a cute and innocent little series about a guy falling for his robot housewife appliance, but dude, seeing this guy awkwardly attempt to chat up his toaster gave me shades of the same energy as watching a grown-up Kazuya from Rent-A-Girlfriend. Uh, oh god, I'm so glad I didn't watch it then. You're telling me he's like Kazuya? I'm so glad I'm not watching this. Oh Bro's my god. being a certified smegma male. Another sister romance anime? Wait, no. This one I actually low key wanted to watch. With two girls who are sisters. <laughs> Look at that anime. No sweet home Alabama this time. This one actually has the most accurate sibling relationship because it's about two twin sisters taking it turns going, Mom says it's my turn on the Xbox. But you know, instead of playing Call of Duty, they're playing Halo Reach for My Peach with their childhood friend. Two player co op. I would have picked Call of Duty. Enough of your harem anime. We have a girl who Bro, is the pseudo, pseudo, pseudo harem is... It, it, I love it so much. I love it so much. Unfortunately, people weren't really watching my reactions, so I stopped uploading them to YouTube, but I was uploading them for a while, and I did really enjoy it. Anyways. Harem. She can be a tsundere, kudere, dandere, little sister. Yeah, add that one to the list. Introducing anime's very first Omni Dere. This is just the girlfriend the version Omni of those knockoff game like cartridges that. that promise 100 games in one. I was wondering where harem anime could go after one man finding 100 girlfriends. Who knew that the next step was just 100 girlfriends in one? Wait a minute. This is just weaponized schizophrenia. The proper etiquette when conversing with girls. A guide by 2.5D Seduction. Whoa. Oh no. No. Wait, you're telling me a 2D obsessed, unsociable hentai addicted weeb starts an anime club by himself and the only person. Okay, he didn't start the club. Club was already existing. It, it had already been going on for quite a while. Uh, he just happens to be the only member because all the other ones have graduated, so they're no longer at the school. He was the only one member. 
uh, left currently attending school and then she joins because she's a big fan of what he's a big fan of. The person who joins is a cute, attractive girl whose only interest is cosplaying his favorite character right before a hot superstar model transfers over who's actually his childhood friend childhood that's had a crush friend. on him for years and all they yep. want to do is get him to take pictures of them cosplaying as hot cultured anime characters. I wouldn't say that's entirely accurate for the childhood friend. That's not really her goal. Her goal is just to get him to notice her and, uh, and be interested in her. Um, the cosplay part is only because she's doing that. And so she's like, well, now I got to compete with her. But essentially, yeah, yeah. And you motherfuckers tell me Isekai is the power fantasy genre. From the creator of Kyoko, yeah. we've got another mystery that detective series happening. that is certainly a treat for the eyes. It might not be Kyoto animation, but this still looks bloody beautiful. The background, the atmosphere, the directing. This looks good. Yeah, so I'm not watching this because I am I personally believe I am too stupid for Hyoka. And it's written by the person who made Hyoka, so I didn't want to put in the time to also prove how stupid I am watching this. Wait a minute. Oh, they're not siblings! We're finally safe, boys! This is a different kind of detective okay. story. There are no high-stakes mysteries to solve, no murder to uncover. It's about solving the little mysteries you find in everyday life. They have a full 10-minute Sherlock Holmes breakdown about how this guy makes his hot chocolates. This is like if Makoto Shinkai adapted a Reddit thread from r slash mildly interesting, but somehow it keeps you engaged all the way through. It's about getting you invested in something God, inconsequential, look. finding wow. something interesting mm. in the mundane, and it really shows how these people really need to find a fucking hobby as soon as possible. <laughs> Makine! I also really like this, this one season too. has been a no holds bar free for all for romance, but even with all the choice on hand, there was still one that impressed me the most. Too Many Losing Heroines shows a guy accidentally witnessing a short, blue haired anime girl getting last place in her own romance anime, like, uh. Damn. All of them. And through that, forms yeah. an unlikely friendship before unwittingly becoming the center to a bunch of other girls who have all been the rem to their rivals, Amelia, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. If romance anime were Evo, this shit is the loser's bracket. This is one of those shows Damn. that is self-aware enough to poke fun at all the cliches that plague the romance genre, but doing it in a way that clearly celebrates everything that has taken inspiration from. It gives you some great character writing, organic banter and jokes, but isn't shy about hitting you with these emotional scenes in between all that. Oh, and did I mention Very the good. production? This anime just seems to be teeming with passion. Just look at the ending. They had to experiment with new dollies and camera rigs, combining live action shots with real cell animation to get this cool aesthetic. All this effort for something nice 90% of you are probably going to skip anyway, but that's how you know they give a shit. And it looks like the team yeah, have taken that same passion it. and put <laughs> it in the rest of the anime because it looks fantastic. Out of all the romance anime, this had the strongest premiere and is one of the shows I'm going to be keeping a close eye on because it's just... <laughs> Look, I don't know what is up with all the sussy okay. sisters this season, but I swear my mum's life, this is not the reason I'm praising them. We just have a whole season where some of the most popular or beautifully crafted shows have this little sister in them who seems way too enthusiastic about their brother, okay? Look, there are other animes you could watch. I mean, what else is hot this season? That's a good Nobody way to end it. That was good. Say a word. That was good. That was a good way to end it. That was good. That was good. If they're not blood related, they're free to be dated. Wait, wait, wait. If they're not blood related, they're free to be dated. That's not how Yuki saw it, though. That was good. Hey, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's how Yuki sees it. Hey, guys. Hope All right, man. That was good, dude. Good, good, good. Sorry, I have to skip your message at the end, uh, Gigguk. Uh, but dude, good stuff. Good, good, good. Very enjoyable. Love me some, uh, some Gigguk videos. Love it. If you ask me what I think the best anime I'm currently watching is, it is the, by the way, oh, one thing that does, I will admit, Loki, because he didn't address it in the last video, right? It's not like he talked about Dead Dead Demon's destruction in the last one, but he doesn't mention it here either, which is quite unfortunate because Dead Dead Demon's destruction deserves the most praise. It deserves recognition and it doesn't get it. And it makes me sad because I know it deserves recognition, but nobody talks about it. So um, if I could leave you all with one thing, watch Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead Dead, Dead Destruction, okay? It's on Crunchyroll, right? It had two movies in Japan. They consolidated two movies, or not consolidated, I don't know, expanded two movies into 18 episodes, plus uh, an episode zero. Watch it. 
It's sci-fi. Uh, there's also like kind of an almost slice of life comedy aspect to it, but it's just really good. It might be my favorite anime currently airing. There's a bunch of them that I love. I mean, Oshinoko, uh, Tensuda, uh, Elusive Samurai, Wistoria. Like he he listed all the ones. I told you the ones I didn't like. I don't think Suicide Squad Isekai is good. I don't think I parry everything's good, okay? I, there's probably a couple more, but that's really like where I am. Check out my reactions if you're interested. Those are on the channel. Keep it fresh. Peace.